tractor has broke down. So anyway, want to see what we got going on? Check out the video. So guys, the burn pile has burned down good so far. We got good hot coal, so uh, as soon as I get the tractor going, be real easy to get this back going. And we have obviously put a big dent in this, but I got no go on that. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. It's kind of a series of events. It, I've got two issues. So first of all, uh, and I'm going to include this in on the end screens when we get to the end of this video. A while back, I've got a video, it's called I Messed Up. And I'm surprised I didn't that it didn't break everything then, but I'm convinced it did like 80% of the damage. So what happened was I, and again, I'll show you the video. When I was hooking up my grapple, I accidentally just forgot to put in the locking pins. I did the hydraulic lines and anyway, I just dropped off the grapple. It pulled all the hydraulic lines very tight. I think it did a lot of damage to them, but they did not rupture. So I've been working, I don't know, last two weeks, continued to use the grapple. Well, anyway, over the weekend, it finally, um, it finally gave up the ghost and I had a rupture. I was shooting, uh, as I was picking up this stuff and moving it over to the burn pile, all of a sudden I started shooting a stream out of one of the hydraulic lines about two or three feet up in the air. So I immediately shut down, uh, went to investigate, real, you know, I knew immediately what was going on, but I disconnected the hydraulic lines because I did not want to lose any more fluid. And lo and behold, when I went to crank back up, battery was dead as a doorknob, even though I had been sitting here running it for hours. So uh, I know just the battery over time, this, this tractor is over six years old now. And uh, you know, it's time for batteries. They usually, if you get over five years, you count your blessings, right? So anyway, guys, first thing on the list is I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, putting a replacement battery in here. Now I've already pulled the battery, but no, uh, no big deal for you guys not to see that coming out. Obviously, we're gonna do the reverse process. And as we go, I'll tell you guys a bunch of stuff I've learned along the way. So, you know me guys, let's get busy. All right, so obviously my tractor is a 3032E. Um, and on pretty much all of these versions of tractors, the battery is located up in the front. And so um, this right here just sets in, a, in a, a holder and it's real easy. You can just lift this up and move this over. And this right here just lifts up and comes out of the way. And I'm gonna set this over to the side and the, the um, battery goes right down here in the bottom and it's got a special way that it mounts in. Now, uh, one thing I want to share with you and you know, you guys can make decisions for yourself on how to do this, but this is a 22 series battery. And if you go to like advanced auto, now you can see I've got, this was a John Deere. I actually went to the tractor place to get this and I'll explain why. Uh, first of all, if you go to like uh, and I'm not knocking the advanced autos or the auto zones. Uh, they have a battery that's pretty close to the same size. But the one thing their batteries don't have is this little uh, protrusion out on the side with this hole indention. And so you have to make a decision. Do you want to get a, a little bit cheaper battery that does not have this and then this is what's used to lock the battery on the tractor in place? Or you can do one without this and you got to figure out another way to strap it down and hold it into place because it's been up on the front of the motor and it is near the radiator and the uh, intercoolers for the for the hydraulic fluid. You don't want the battery moving around and, and bouncing in and breaking. You know, you just will have a, another thing to get tore up. So then I played the numbers game. Uh, the batteries at the Advanced Auto that's in the 22 series are AutoZone. They're all about the same. They were anywhere from 110 to 115 dollars. I could get this battery, which is a factory replacement from John Deere, and this was just like 140 bucks. So for 20 or 30 bucks more, uh, was it worth it? To me, it was because my time. I did not want to have to take time to reinvent how to strap this down, and so uh, I just went ahead and got it. I was there. It was available, and it was the exact thing I needed, so I got it. You guys obviously more welcome to make up your mind on how you want to do the fix, but that's the reason why. So anyway, that's the battery. And now let me uh, start getting things laid out and I'll show you how we get this in place. And by the way, while we're here, these are the straps that hold down. And this is why this is so important. 
is this strap, the way it goes, and let me get the camera here so you can see it. It, this battery, I mean, th this bolt sits right up in that little groove and that's what's gonna keep it from moving back and forth. So anyway, again, the decision is y'all's on how you wanna play it. But anyway, let's get this in and get my girl going. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna ease this on down in here like so. get it set in place and make sure I'm left and right from where these holes are all right and then as I was stating there's one hole to the left one hole to the right and this is where the challenge comes in a little bit because that has a nut on the back side and you got to reach around so hopefully my lot arms are long enough they sure don't make this easy to get to from here There we go. That's that side. This right here is the hard part. It's just trying to stretch around and get through the bolts. I'm, I've got an extension on the upper end holding it in place and I'm screwed that in. So now I've got them started. All I've got to do is just snug them up. Like I said, this is the fun part, but it's not too awful bad. One side done, one side to go. So now you just pull up the tabs and pull the tops off. And obviously you wanna make sure black to black or black to negative and red to positive. And obviously if I was at my house, I would have much better selection of tools, but this is called in the field repair. When you make out with what you got, so it might be a little slower but we're gonna get it. So you just snug these up. And hopefully here in a minute, we're gonna be ready to fire this bad boy up. So if you've been watching any of my videos recent, you know that it's extremely dry here and uh, you also know that it's just been dusty, dusty. And boy, if that doesn't show the tail of it right there with how dirty and dusty everything is underneath. When we get home, it'll definitely be time for cleaning and replacing filters because I'm at my fall servicing anyway. And uh, it's just time for a good cleanup, good servicing. All right, so as you saw, I just set the tray back in place and set this on top. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. Let's see. Oh, we got all kinds of lights. That's a major improvement. And here we go. Yeah, baby. Well, guys, I owe y'all an apology. You know, when this video started, I was going to be doing two repairs. Well, in the middle of me working, uh, something happened which I absolutely loved. I got some surprise visitors that kind of interrupted my work. So I never got around to recording the second part of the repair. I'm sure I'm getting ready to show you what, what happened. And uh, I'm sure you guys will forgive me when you see why. So. Get out of my way, I'm coming through. Oh. There she goes. Yeah, and Sissy's chasing her. Here she comes and there she goes. You're the best. Well, thank you. Are you coming through? See you later. Yeah, I'm at your house now. Swing with two swings. There you go. Yippee, now, don't you think you're a little too big for that one? Hi, I'm setting in a better swing. <laughs> Here, let's be Guys, the tractor's back running great. I also did a little bit more excavator time, and this pile is just endless and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. So what we're doing is just reaching in, pulling this stuff out, 
getting it to where we can work with it, cutting off what wood we can burn, and we'll continue working, try to get the stumps burned down as well. Uh, for now, uh, everything's back in action and working great. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one because you know here at Project Next One, there is always one more. We'll see you on the next one.